Hi, this is Louise Ann Maurice, and I'm the founder of 90 Day Guru Training, and I'm so excited to share this new training with you, and I'm going to walk you through, step by step, how you can start implementing the DIG method. So let's get started with the first in this training series. This first video is going to show you how to develop your go-to guru status, right? So go-to guru, a guru is authority, an expert, right? A master and people go to a guru because yeah, they want that influence, they want to receive results, and they want to really accomplish what they want to in life, and, and they see that guru as a guide. So how do you do that? Well, you know, here's the thing, right? You really do need to become a leader, and, and what is leadership, especially business leadership? You know, do you have to have this stern look on your face? No. We're going to show you in this video how to develop qualities of a good leader. And this is a video that I put together for um, a, a training that I've developed, how to make money in good times or bad. And, you know, developing your value as a leader is something that is so foundational to being successful in business. So let's go through that right now. Hi, it's Louise, and we are on Module 3 of the online training program, How to Make Money in Good Times or Bad. Now, we're continuing to develop you as a valuable asset. In order to do that, you need to position yourself as a valuable asset. Okay? That's what success is, right? That habit of success. But success really is not only increasing your value, but helping other people increase their value. And when you do that, you position yourself as the authority in your field. So number five is position yourself as the authority. Know that, yeah, you are valuable. Really own your value. And number four is actions versus inaction. So if you're saying that you help people increase their health by this, 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 or that, you have to make sure that you've taken those actions, that you've done the exact same thing, that, yeah, you were at point A, you did this, and now you're at point B. So taking the actions that lead towards success and then Inactions are not taking the actions that stop you from success. Really important, right? Living in your truth, being authentic and real and believable helps you position yourself as the authority. And number three, along the same lines, your word is powerful, right? Your word is powerful. So, you know, you're saying all of this. Being in integrity just means that you say, you do what you say you're going to do, right? You know, the dictionary definition of integrity is strict adherence to a, or adherence to a strict moral code, and that's not what we're talking about here. It is about your code, <laughs> what you value, what you say that you're going to do. Make sure you say that, right? And that's in every area of your life. So if you are, um, you know, a health expert in your business life, um, make sure that you're also a health expert in your personal life because it really does connect, right, the two. I mean, there is a blur. We always like to say that we want to keep... Um, you know, our business life, our work life, life separate than our personal, but it's not that way at all. It really does, you know, stream over to the next. And number two, reframe your beliefs, okay? Reframe is just another way of looking at your beliefs, right? Success is value because, you know, again, back in the free training that we took, depending on what your insider information is that you received growing up, you might not connect with success the way you need to connect with success, right? You might think, oh, you're bragging, and who do you think you are, and, you know, all of that, that, that voice, 
but all of that messaging comes back to you and it really will stop you. So it's about creating your own definition of success and understanding that it's not only increasing your value, but increasing the value, right? What's important to other people and that is success. And the last one is your success statement. The, the, um, the next thing that you're doing is actually creating your success statement. And, you know, this is something that, you know, when you look at the questions and you work through it and then, you know, just watching that short video to get you inspired to create your success statement and really owning that. And again, as you evolve and you change, that success statement is going to change. But, you know, just knowing that only passions, great passions can elevate the soul to great things. So really connect with what you're passionate about and don't be afraid to share that, right? Be real, be authentic and be yourself because that's success as well, right? Because if you have anything really valuable to contribute to the world, it will come through the expression of your own personality, that single spark of divinity that sets you apart and makes you different. So own it. You know, it's kind of like the theme, but really own it and connect with your definition of success. Do what you say you're going to do and make sure you complete your Get Rich Roadmap with the activities and then continue on with the Get Rich strategy for Module 3.